I hope I don't mispronounce her name. You did. But do you know who Charmaine Obeid Chinoy is? No. Charmaine Obeid Chinoy is a Pakistani slash Canadian film director. Mm -hmm. She is a two-time Academy Award winner. Oh, nice. And she will be directing the next Star Wars films that continues telling us the story of Rey. Oh, wow. She'll be the first woman mm -hmm. and the color. first woman of color. Nice. Isn't that cool? So congratulations. I think that's awesome. Start making them good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. Me, Hiamo, is Ricardo Montalban. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Who knows who he was? Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us for Can you name two roles that Ricardo Montalban played? Ricardo and Montalban. No. Uh, he played Khan in Star Trek oh, The yeah, Wrath of Khan. Yeah, and he played I Am Your Host, Mr. Rourke. Welcome to Fantasy Island. The plane! The plane! Thank this, you. Uh, Thank you. Premier, this trailer came out, I think, about a week ago, and it's with Tavino Thomas, uh, who we know from yeah. um, a couple things, but primarily the Malayalam superhero film. Yes. Uh, this is a new film of his called... Milamanari. Yeah. And this is a new film called Nile Velicham. Yes. I don't Forgive know me if I mispronounced it. it. But uh, let's just get into it. Malayalam, always bringing the fresh content. Here we go. And unpredictable. Yeah! Mm. 
Great sound, by the way. Uh, I think I said it in the, uh, I forget what it's called, the one the Subin that we just watched. Um, <sighs> that the next field that Indian content is going to could go venture for is is the horror genre and not that this is full horror but it's getting there and i think malayalam is the industry that could probably do it the best uh because just the way they are with their stories and their actors it just wouldn't shock me if they can just take that genre and run with it and they've they've started to yeah we've seen it a lot in the past few years of of them starting to really delve into that genre yeah because i think it's a genre that audiences are craving for in india because they've never really had it they've had a few that come out one every couple years that might be good a bunch that aren't uh and then obviously hindi has more of the comedy horror genre right uh and but the strict horror yeah you might get one every five ten years right that is kind of scary i wish i could remember the name of a film uh, it's something about the woman it's daniel radcliffe it's a horror film. It's a period piece. And he's alone in this house where a, a, a woman has died and the house is haunted. It's it's it, very, very well done. And this reminded me a little bit in some spots of that, but it's a standalone thing. I love the title of Blue Radiance. And I'm 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 excited. I hope the trailer gave us what this really is. It's a long trailer though. I think I would have actually preferred a little me less. Me too, a little less. My my hope, because it's the billing, the menu, as it were, that's being presented of what's going to be on the men, uh, at the restaurant, is presenting a horror slash thriller, fifty fifty, as it were, mm -hmm. almost kind of similar to I think a, a nineteen twenty, but a, a different, right? Uh, but different. it had some horror genre, right? But it was a lot and more I, thriller. I do hope it is a fifty fifty split. It's fine. If it's a good thriller and it's a 70-30 split where only 30% of the movie is actual horror, okay. But so I it says it comes out today, right? Yeah. None. No no theatrical oh, screenings wait, anywhere. Oh, hold on. I'm in Denver. Oh. So I've had okay. To, let me see here. Nope. <laughs> That sucks. Not shocking, though. It's not shocking. Be, uh, uh, Malayalam cinema, we unless it's a big LGP, uh, yeah, they it just doesn't get a big release here. And LGP, we had to travel down to about eighty kilometers. Uh, it was worth the trip. Oh, well, worth the trip. But yeah, you had to travel about an hour twenty. Yeah, to to get to a theater that was showing it near us. Oh well, um, and which sucks. And it said it was releasing theatricals. It, it did. It's right? a theatrical release. The sound was awesome. Yeah, my suspicion is this was made and distributed purely to reach the Malayalam audience in in, in India. Um, uh, I'd be interested to see if it. It may have also. I don't. I just. I, I wish we had more theatrical releases, but yeah, you have to justify attendance because if people aren't attending, what are you going to do? Sheikh Abu, he is on Instagram. Because sometimes I like that trailer. Sometimes I can reach out sometimes and get a, a and screener. get a screener if it's not playing. We would I'll, love to do. I that. almost all, I will never ask for a screener if I can get to a theater. Of obviously. course, no. We I want will. to support a film, but since obviously you know audiences want some some people want our review. Not all, obviously, not everybody, um, but also I just want to see it. Yeah, uh, and especially if we like it, want to spread the word and get the the, the news out for people to. Tavino support Thomas, it. we've uh, we've seen interviews with him where he's very passionate about getting one. He's a good actor. Yep, uh, but he's very passionate about getting good stories out and also. Maliala, he I think he said in that round table, I think it was with Kamal Hassan, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, he's like. Malayalam hasn't had that KGF yet in terms right. of the big worldwide box office success, but he says we're 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 coming really close. Um, Minimal Minari did very well, did it not? I think it was a Netflix film. Oh, it didn't have a theatrical no. release. Okay, I think that was a Netflix film, huh. uh, and I think it did well. On did Netflix. well, yeah. Um, but that I think probably would have done well. But what's interesting about that is knowing the Malayalam industry, the only way they're going to get a KGF, an RRR, that kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah, is by someone having a vision for something the way, for example, Brahmastra was envisioned. Mm -hmm. And the objective is 
passion for telling a particular story, not necessarily just we need to make a bombastic box office smash. Because mm -hmm. the Malayalam industry is just just known for great, great storytelling yeah. and, and acting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very excited. You guys let us know if you're looking for really it. Really want to see this. Or if you've seen it already. Yeah. Obviously, it just came out today. So uh, if you've already watched it, let us know how it is. And if anybody in the crew or filmmaking process would like to send me a screener, we'll my watch email it. is in the description below. <laughs>